Hey folks, Nick Donatelli here and welcome back to the Houdini for MoGraph series. Today we'll be going over how to make what I'm going to call this voxelization effect. This is something that you could be used to create, maybe a digital hologram type of look, maybe a 3D version of an 8-bit game, or more famously doing the Lego type of effect that you'd see in, say, the Lego movie. So let's get into it. Start by dropping a mocap biped and go with number two. There's just more animations there and I'm going to choose the jogging preset. Now just turn that visibility off and make a geo node and dive inside. Object merge our runner in selecting the geo inside of the mocap. And I'm going to subdivide just to give us more points to work with in a second. Now drop a points from volume node and you can see that it gives us like a nice grid of points. So I'm just going to bring the point separation here down to 0.02 to get more points. And I'm going to make a box node. Now just pack it and copy it to the points. And these are, of course, way too big. So we're going to make sure that we don't get any overlap. Go to the points from volume right click copy parameter on the point separation and then paste relative reference into the uniform scale of the box and honestly that's pretty much the effect so we're just gonna you know go in and add some more detail so we're gonna give it some color so i'll time shift and just freeze the model on any frame and then make a point vop inside dropping an anti-aliased noise, promoting the parameters to be able to change the look later. Now make an absolute node and just bind that to the CD. And you can mess around with the values a little bit. And then just do an attribute copy, hooking it up to the original and the second input into this one that we have color. And we're doing it this way so that the noise actually locks onto the deforming geometry rather than having our character just run through the noise, which will give that like swimming look. And then just do an attribute transfer onto the points before the copy, setting it to CD. And that gives us color. Now, if you look at the example I did, I'll have this glowy floor effect as the character runs. For this, make a grid with a size of two. Now we're going to use another points from volume, setting the particle separation to 0.05 this time. And copy that parameter to use in a second because we're going to grab the box pack and copy the points that we did and drop it here. And just go to the box and paste our new parameter since we have a different voxel size. Now to get the trailing effect, we're going to give our points a color setting it to black and then give our runner a color setting it to one to make it red attribute transfer the color onto the points and just bring the distance down to about 0.06 and the blend to about 0.09 and now make a point pop and dive in using a vector to float we'll take that red value from the cd and multiply it, creating a constant of negative one. So that way it always pushes downward. And then middle mouse promote the parameter to give us a slider on the outside for the amount we want to push it down. Now do a float to vector, plugging this into the Y and add that to the original position. Hop out and you can push this down as far as you want and I'm gonna make a transform just to bring up the whole thing copying the push down slider and paste relative reference into the Y so that our character is run like pushing down the things as he runs and staying on the ground plane last thing I want to do is add a bit of a fade off as it goes so make a solver and dive inside drop a point VOP, hooking input one into the first and the previous frame into the second. 
and make sure the viewer flag is set on this. Here I'll use an import points attribute set to second input and grabbing the CD attribute and making sure the PT num is attached as well and then add this to the CD of the original input. And I'm just gonna make a clamp to make sure that things never go over one. So hop back out and you can see that all this does is keep the values of the previous frame. So it just kind of gives a build up as the person runs, but we want to make a decay. So hop all the way back in and use a multiply constant to the previous frames color. This way each frame gets multiplied progressively lower. I'm going to use 0.25 so that we just have a subtle effect, but the closer you are to one, the longer it takes for these values to decay. So if you want something to last for a while after they step, then you'll want to get, like I said, closer to one. Now hop back out and you can see we have our basic voxelization setup. So that's really it for this one. Um, if there's any effects that you want to see tutorials for in the future, please send them to us in the comments. The project files for this are on our site. Hope you enjoyed this one, and until next time. <laughs>